Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. A Westminster man is getting life in prison after being convicted in a murder for hire scheme targeting his wife. It was a dramatic day in court as the defendant's sons urged the judge to give him the maximum. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely was in the courtroom for today's sentencing. That you are about to sentence an innocent man, and God is my witness for that. I have nothing to do with the killing of my wife. Urging the judge to find the real killer, convicted murderer Magdi Gurgis admitted that he is not perfect, but also not the one who orchestrated the vicious stabbing of his wife Ariette in Westminster in 2004. Gurgis was convicted of hiring the men who nearly decapitated the mother of two. Entered my house. The victim's youngest son, Ryan, was the one at home with her early that morning, and he spoke about it at his father's sentencing today. I was bound and tied up in my closet after a struggle. I still feel distraught with my mother's last words, take anything you want. I forgive you, Dad, for all that you have done to me and Ryan. Confess, repent. Speaking to his father, Richard Gerges shared how he and his younger brother, who was blamed during the trial by the defense for the murder, live in fear that they will be killed by their dad. I sleep with a gun under my pillow. I have an alarm, dogs, and cameras around my house. Theirs was a household of abuse, according to the prosecutor. Ariette Gerges, a victim of domestic violence. Months after she got the courage to divorce her husband, she was dead. I want to end this letter with a moment of silence from my mother. Magdi Gurgis, who got the maximum life without the possibility of parole, broke down crying as he spoke about his sons. I'm not a bad father, and uh, maybe I'm strict, but uh, I love them. They are my kids. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.